Amid the political crisis in Maharashtra with internal rebellion in the Shiv Sena, Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre, member of the ruling Mahavikas Agadi coalition, said on Wednesday that he was prepared to resign even if one disgruntled MLA said on his face that he did not want Thakre to be CM. Eknath Shinde, a senior Shiv Sena member, has waged a rebellion within the party, claiming support of many MLAs and effectively pushing the current Maharashtra government to the brink. There are speculation that Shinde might join the BJP. If this happens, then the BJP will have enough numbers to form the government in Maharashtra. But this would not be happening for the first time. Let's look at how BJP formed government in many states in the last eight years. In Arunachal Pradesh in 2014, BJP won 11 seats, Congress 42, People's Party of Arunachal 5 and Independents 2. Following two turbulent years, the number changed to BJP 48, Congress 1, PPA 9 and Independents 2. After wholesale defections, a period of President's rule, the death of an ex-CM and the Supreme Court's intervention, the recall of the reluctant governor and four chief ministers later, the BJP finally grabbed power in Arnanchal. Let's look at Goa in 2017. Election happened and BJP won just 13 out of 40 seats. As the single largest party, they formed a coalition with small parties that openly contested against them after the results were announced. On the other hand, the Congress had to sit in opposition even after getting 17 seats. The same year in Manipur, BJP won 21 seats out of 60, while the Congress got 28. However, the BJP won two local parties, the National People's Party and Naga People's Front, as well as the lone MLA from its ally, Lok Jan Shakti Party, to claim to form the government. As a result, the then governor, Najma Hepatullah, who was a former BJP MP, invited the BJP-led alliance to form the government first. In Madhya Pradesh, 2020, a segment of Congress MLAs were wooed away, reducing the effective strength of the Assembly, after which BJP government was sworn in. The breakaway Congress leader Jyotirat Sindhya was awarded a Rajya Sabha seat and a ministership in the Modi government after joining the BJP. Keeping all these exemptions in mind, let's look at the anti-defection law, which was proposed in 1984 to prevent such activities from happening. As per the law, an MLA or the MP is deemed to have defected if either he voluntarily gives up the membership of his party or disobeys the directives of the party leadership during voting in the house. However, there is one exemption over here. If the number of MLAs who leave a political party constitutes two-thirds of the party's strength in the legislature, this law does not apply. In case of Maharashtra, Shinde would need 36 MLAs to go along with him if he wants to split the Shiv Sena to bypass the anti-defection law. Only time will tell if Shinde has the number or Maharashtra government will sustain this blow.